Happy Good Friday, everyone. This is Anthony with BBSN, and we are back to our 1969 Cubbies replay. Uh, the Cubbies just wrapped up a set with Montreal and are now in Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates. And in this one, in real life at this point in time, the Cubbies were 11 and 2. They're 9 and 4 in the replay. And in this game played on April 22nd, I forgot to put 20 in there, ignore that. The uh, Pirates beat the Cubbies 7-5. to five. Uh, Doc Ellis did get the start in this one, but left after two innings. And Chuck Hartenstein took the win for the Pirates, while Bill Hands took the loss for the Cubbies. And with that, our starting lineups. For the Cubs, leading off at shortstop Don Kessinger, Glenn Beckert will bat second and play second base. Sweet swinging Billy Williams in the third hole in left field. Ernie Banks moving up to the cleanup spot will be at first base. Randy Hundley behind the plate will bat fifth. And Al Spanky Spangler will bat sixth and play right field. Center fielder Don Young bats seventh. And Paul Popovich, batting eighth, will be at third base, while Bill Hands will be on the mound for the Cubbies. And for your hometown Pirates, leading off in center field, Matty Alou. Batting second at the hot corner, Richie Hebner. Right fielder, Roberto Clemente, bats third. Willie Pop Stargell will be in left and hit cleanup. Al Oliver bats fifth, will be at first base tonight. Manny Sanguian will be behind the plate in bat sixth. And Bill Mazeroski, who is the Yankees version of Bucky F. and Dent, will be at second and bat seventh. Batting eighth, shortstop Freddie Patek. And on the mound tonight for the Buckos will be Doc Ellis. And before we uh, get underway with the first pitch, there is an order of business to attend to. Uh, yesterday... Baseball last lost a uh, great player and one of their great characters, La Grande Orange, Rusty Staub, left us at the age of 73. And uh, this card um, actually received uh, oh, not quite two weeks ago, a little over a week ago from uh, Joe S., a huge Expos fan. And again, uh, heartfelt thanks for, uh, for the cards, Joe. But um, Rusty really a unique ball player and and never really I don't think uh, given the true due that he deserves um, he was the only player in Major League history to collect 500 hits for four different teams and that would be uh, the Houston Colt 45 slash Astros the Expos Mets and uh, Tigers he also is one of only four men in Major League history to hit a home run as a teenager and after the age of 40. Uh, finished with over 2,700 hits in his major league career. I believe 292 home runs, going off memory there. But a, a great player, a great personality, and one of the things that uh, truly endeared him, I know, to Expos fans is he was a huge favorite up there. Um, is the fact that when he was traded to the Expos, he actually took the time. Montreal, of course, is in the uh, French-Canadian um, area of Canada. He actually took the time to uh, to learn French so that he could, uh, you know, basically interact and, and uh, communicate with the fans and, and uh, you know, assimilate himself into their language and culture, which... Uh, went a long way again to endearing him to the fans up there as, as long or along with his many other great attributes as a person and a ball player. So with that, uh, as a special tribute before we get underway, we are going to give La Grande Orange, Mr. Rusty Staub, a uh, last pitch. Rest easy, brother, great ball player. You're going to be missed. So Rusty's last pitch will come from Doc Ellis, the Pirate starter. Patient, and as very fitting, Rusty did very well in the patient category, drawing walks, very patient at the plate. So fitting that uh, his last piss, pitch, his uh, goodbye, if you will, is a walk. So with that, Lagrande Orange, Godspeed, and rest easy, brother. 
And now we begin the game. You just uh, get squared away here. So leading off for the Cubbies against Doc Ellis, Don Kessinger steps in. And that's going to be tough. And Kessinger is going to ground out second base. 4-3 on the put out there. Mazeroski takes care of Kessinger. Ben Beckert up next. And Patient. And Beckert is going to ground out to Mazeroski as well. 4-3 on that put out. Sweet Swing and Billy Williams up third. Tough, and Williams just misses a hit there. That's going to be a pop-up to shortstop. Potet puts that away, and the Cubbies go one, two, three in the first. So we head to the bottom of the first inning. Pirates coming up, and Bill Hands on the mound for the visiting Cubbies. Matty Alou set to lead it off. And pitch, that was a three. That's going to be patient and 35, or 53, sorry. That will be a ground ball down to Kessinger. 6-3 on the put out. Youthful Richie Hebner, 22 years old in 1969, steps up. That's a tough out. He's in trouble regardless. And swing and a miss. Bill Hands with a queso. So two down there, and that is our Hispanic version of the knee cheese. Bill Hands up, or Roberto Clemente up against Bill Hands, and that's going to be in play, and Roberto is going to ground that down to third base, pop a bitch up with it. So the Pirates follow the Cubs, go down one, two, three in the first inning. We head to the top of the second, no score. And Mr. Cubby, Ernie Banks, leads it off. Pitch from Ellis, and that's Wheelhouse, and Ernie Banks, 81, does not get around on it and gets under it, grounds it down to shortstop. I should say over it. And he had his pitch, missed it, so one down. Ellis breathes a sigh of relief. Randy Hundley up. Hundley says, I want one of those pitches. Ellis says, you get in play, and Randy says, I'll take a single on that. So Hundley, our first hit of the ball game here in the top of the second, and he runs on a roll of three or less. He stays put, and that brings up Al Spanky Spangler, the Cubbies right fielder today. He's getting uh, quite a bit of playing time lately. Pitch from Ellis, and that's going to be in play, and Spangler... Grounds that down to third base, and seven is outside of his double play range inside of Ellis's, and there we go to the two die 10. Must be one to 45 to get the double play, and it is. So Hebner turns that nicely over to Mazeroski and over to Oliver, five, four, three. The Cubbies get one hit, but nobody stranded as Spangler. Grounds into an inning any double play. And we're heading to the bottom of the second inning. Score is 0 0. Willie Pop Stargill, Pirates cleanup hitter, steps in, stares down hands. And the only tragedy is for Bill Hands that he never played on the same team as Raleigh Fingers. So Fingers following hands would have been a good. Uh, Pitching uh, started a bullpen transition. Nine, tough out. And again, tough out. You cannot get a hit. It's going to be an out regardless. 14, though, will be a strikeout. Yeah, that's early. I know the jokes are horrible. I'm here all week, but much better after three in the afternoon. Now Oliver up, hands the pitch. And that's going to be patient. And that'll be a ground ball down to second base. Becker takes care of Oliver, and both pitchers off to a good start here as Manny Sanguian digs in, waits for the pitch, and that will be a defensive check. We go to the fast action cards, as is our uh, method of play. 
That's an error check on the first baseman. And for the Cubbies, Banks, he is a five. And coming from shortstop, you would expect him to be exceptionally defensively. He is. Five is as good as you can get. Roll of 70. He takes care of it himself. So, three unassisted for Sanguian, and the Pirates go down in order again. And we are through two innings. Our score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Don Young leads off the top of the third for the Cubbies. Steps in against Doc Ellis. Ellis, matching hand so far. And seven's going to be in play, but Young gets around on that, and he drives that down the opposite way into the left field corner. It rattles around, and un unable to get to it is Stargell. Young chugging around is going to end up at third base with a triple in head first under the throw. So the Cubbies, a great start here. Runner in scoring position, 90 feet away, nobody out. Paul Popovich up, Ellis the pitch. And six, tough. And Popovich, he's going to get around on that and drive that back up the middle. So RBI single for Pop. And Don Young comes home with our first run of the ball game, 1-0 Cubbies. And I didn't put the pitcher's hitting cards in there which is a semi-tradition for me. Uh, both pitchers are three. So I will take care of that. And we are going to attempt to sacrifice here with Mr. Hands. So Hands sacrificing is a C. And that means we need a roll of 16 to 89. And we get it. And the put out there is going to go to third baseman, so 5-4, second baseman covering. Sack hit, and Pop moves to second base. One down, runner in scoring position. Cubbies, one run in already. Don Kessinger up. Ellis gets a sign. Here comes the pitch. Tough and struck him out. Doc Ellis with a big K on Kessinger. Kessinger starts with K and his at bat ends with K this time. Glenn Beckert up with two outs, runner on second. Here comes a pitch and that's going to be tough and that'll be a fly out to left field. So Ellis extricates himself from trouble, but the Cubbies break through first. They score one run on two hits, leave a runner. We're heading to the bottom of the third inning. Our score, Chicago 1, Pittsburgh 0. Bill, Bucky F. and Dent Mazeroski. Preferred nickname of Yankee fans. Leads it off against Bill Hands here in the bottom of the third inning, and the pitch is patient. And that's going to be a single for Mazeroski. So he gets the Pirates' first hit of the day. Bill getting up there in age. Not a big base stealer. Three or less. He stays put. And Freddie Patek will step in. Hands. Kicks, delivers. And that's going to be patient Patek. He's going to drive that one into the gap in left center. And runner advancement again, we go to the fast action cards. And on a double deep drive to center field, one hops wall, all runner score. So Freddie P showing some pop, and he gets the Pirates back on level ground. As Mazeroski comes around to score, RBI double for Freddie. It is one to one. And Doc Ellis steps up. He is a B sacrifice butter, and that's what he's going to do. Nobody out, so they want that go-ahead run 90 feet away. And a B on the chart is easily in there, 11 to 90 for the sacrifice hit. And put out on that is going to go to the catcher. So we'll go 2-3 on the put out. Sack and runner to third base. So one down now. And the Pirates threatening to take the lead here in the bottom of the third inning. One run already in. Hands is poised. Here comes a pitch. And three is patient. And that's going to be another walk. 
So Maddie Lou. Trots down to first base. Runners on the corners. And Lou, he's going to see if he might steal here. He does not get a jump. So Hands needs to induce the double play ball. And eight, that's going to be in play. Dice was stuck there. 41. That'll be a ground ball down to first. And eight is outside of Hebner, but even with Hands. So we roll the two die six. And this is a huge one. Again, 1 to 45 for the double play, and does not happen. Hebner, the fielder's choice. So Alou is a race 3 to 6. Hebner on at first base, and coming in to score, sacrifice bunt paying off is Freddie Potek. Hebner with the RBI, and it's 2 1 Buckos. Roberto Clemente up now, and Hebner. We'll try and steal on a roll of three or less. It's going to be in play, and that will be a fly out to right field. So the Bucks go down, but not before they draw even and draw ahead. Two runs on two hits. They leave a runner. We're heading to the top of the fourth inning, 2-1 Pirates. And set to lead it off for the Cubbies. Sweet swing and Billy Williams. He digs in. And he popped out to shortstop his first time up. Ellis gets a sign from Sanguin. Kicks delivers, and that's going to be tough. 31, and just got out of the strikeout range there. He's going to get a hold of that one and drive that into the right field corner. Billy Williams around first, heading into second. He's there with a stand-up double. So Cubby's looking to draw strike back and even it up again. <clears throat> Ernie Banks steps in. <clears throat> Your announcer takes a sip of water because his voice was dying. Still early here. Here comes a pitch from Ellis. That's tough. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Ernie Banks. Mr. Cub. Mr. K. Leaves his buddy at second base, one down for Randy Hundley. He's been one of the Cubs' uh, more clutch hitters early in this replay. And pitch going to be in play. And he's going to ground that down to third base. Runner holds, 5-3 on the putout, two down. So Ellis on the verge of extricating himself again from a sticky situation. Lead off double, runner still at second base, two outs. Here comes a pitch, tough, and that's going to be a fly out to right field. So one hit, but one runner stranded at second base. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning, 2-1 Bucks. And Pop Stargell lumbering up, limbering up. Lumbers to the plate. Limbering with his lumber. How's that? Hands the pitch, and four, that's ballpark. And Forbes Field, not a hitter's friendly ballpark. And for the lefty, that's going to be in play. So for Pops, uh, that would be a pop-up to shortstop. So Kessinger puts that away, and Stargell heads back to the dugout, one down. Al Oliver up, and Big Al, tough, and 26. He's going to get a hold of that and fight that off, drive that up the middle for a single. So Oliver, tough to fan. And he's going to try and steal on a roll of four or less. Does not get it. He is held. Manny Sanguian up. One out, one on. Hands the pitch. And patient. And that one's going to be grounded to shortstop. And five. That's double play rating for Sanguian and hands. So six, four, three. Kessinger to Becker to Banks. And the Pirates are done in the bottom of the fourth inning. They get a hit, but he's erased on the double play. We're heading to the top of the fifth, still 2-1 Pirates. And Don Young, Young, who has scored the Cubbies only run in this one. He tripled back in the third and later scored on a single by Paul Popovich. Steps in for his second plate appearance against Ellis. Ellis, wheelhouse 17, and Young 
It's high, it's far, it's gone! H.R. Puffin stuff. Cubbies are even and Don Young. Flexing the boomstick early in this one. A hand in both Cubs running, runs and we are tied at two. So Paul Popovich up now. High fives his teammate. And just have to make an adjustment to the scorebook. Guess I'm sloppy. Pop waits for the pitch from Ellis, and that is going to be tough. And that will be a fly out to left field. So one down, and hands back on even ground. Steps in. He's grateful for that. Steers down Ellis. Ellis the pitch. And tough. That's going to be a strikeout. You know that. Hands flails away miserably at three straight pitches. Heads back to the dugout to put some ice on his arm. Get ready for the next inning. Don Kessinger steps up. Two outs. Nobody on. The pitch. Ballpark. And that's going to be in play. So Kessinger against the righty. And that's going to be a fly out to left field. Cubbies are done in the fifth, but Thunder strikes in the form of Don Young, a solo shot into the left field bleachers. And we're heading to the bottom of the fifth inning. We are tied up at two, and this is shaping up to be a good one, folks. As Bill Mazeroski set to lead it off for the Pirates here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Slices his back through the air, steps into the box, pitch from hands. And that's going to be a defensive check. We go to the fact card. And that's going to be an error check on third base. For the Cubbies at the hot corner, Pop is a one. He's not very good. And 68 on the roll is just going to be an error there. And that error will be a one base error. So Popovich boots it. And Mazeroski, who says, I don't make errors like that. He's on at first base, E5. So not a situation that the uh, Cubs wanted to start the fifth here. Freddie Potek up. Mazeroski at first. And eight, that's going to be in play. But that will be a ground ball down to second base. And eight is outside of Potek's, even with hands. So again, we go to the two die 10, fielder's choice or double play. And that's a fielder's choice. So Mazeroski is erased, and Patek on at first base, fielder's choice, one down. Pitcher spot up. And they're going to have him sacrifice again with one out. He gets that. And two, that's going to be the catcher again. And we'll go 2-4, second baseman covering this time. Sac sacrifice bunt. And with two out, the Pirates have a runner at second. Worked out well for them last time. Led to a run scoring. Let's see if they can do it again. Matty Lou steps in. Top of the order. Hands pitch. And ballpark. And that's going to be a in-play result. So Matty Lou, can he bring home the go-ahead run again? He cannot. And that's going to be a ground ball down to Beckert. Nice candy hop. Whips that over to Banks. And we are out of the inning. No hits, no runs. One error. Pirates leave one. We're heading to the sixth inning, and we're tied at two on a dandy. Glenn Becker, number two in the Cubbies order, set to lead it off against Doc Ellis. Ellis the pitch, and that's going to be tough, and that will be a fly out to center field. One down, sweet swing and Billy Williams up. And Ellis, tough. And 41, Williams is going to fight that one off and drive that into the opposite field for a single. So Williams, his second hit of the day. And he, with a sweet swing, gets his lead. He only steals on three or less. Not going to happen. No Lou Brocks in this lineup, folks. So one down, runner on first. Mr. Cubby up. Mr. Cubby has grounded out. He struck out his last time up. And three, that's going to be in play. 65. That'll be a ground ball down to second base. And the easy double play there. Mazeroski flips out to Patek over to Oliver. 4-6-3. And the Cubbies are done. 
So both defenses turning in some gems. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. We're still knotted at two, folks. And set to lead it off for the Pirates is Richie Hebner. Young Richie today. He is 0 for 2, but he has uh, collected an RBI on a fielder's choice back in the third inning. Struck out in the first. Here comes a pitch from Hands. And five, that'll be patient. Out of range, will be a ground ball to shortstop. Kessinger takes care of that. Hebner heads back to the dugout, one down. Roberto Clemente, the cannon, steps in. Seven in play, 88. That's going to be a ground ball to Kessinger again. Kessinger whips it to Banks, two down. Willie Pop starves up now. Pops 0 for 2. And in play, 37, just out of range there. And that will be a line drive right at Kessinger. He spears that. Breathes a sigh of relief. And we are through six innings. We're still tied at two. And this is going to possibly go down to the some late inning heroics, Randy Hundley. He has singled, grounded out to third base. Leads off the top of the seventh here. And here comes a pitch from Ellis, is patient. That's going to be a fly out to left field. One down, Al Spanky Spangler 0 for 2, grounded into a double play and flown out to Clemente. Two, Wheelhouse, 63, gets his pitch and he misses it. A harmless ground ball down to shortstop and Spangler. How much fatter do you want that meatball? Cannot connect, but Don Young says... I can. He's got a triple and a home run. Got the hardest part out of the cycle out of the way. Can he keep it going? Six is tough. 42. And no, he cannot. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So Ellis, bitter about that last at bat, sends Young packing. And we are through six and a half. Seventh inning stretch time at the old ball game. Bottom of the seventh, Al Oliver set to lead it off for the Bucks. Bill Hands back on the hill for the visiting Cubbies. Oliver today has singled and grounded out to second base, one for two. Eight's going to be in play, and Oliver gets a hold of that one, drives that back up the middle, another single. Oliver gets his lead. Not going to be able to steal on that, and that brings up Manny Sangui and the athletic catcher of the Pirates. And Sangui, and that's in play, and that will be a pop up to shortstop. Kessinger circles under that, puts it away, one down. Bill Hands facing Mazeroski, and that is a six tough 20. Struck him out. So Hands with the big K there. Two down, and Patek now steps in. Number eight hitter in the Pirates order. Here comes a pitch, and that's going to be an in play, and Patek, not against the righty. That's going to be a pop-up to first base. Banks circles under that, puts it away. So the Buccos get a leadoff single, but he is stranded. We're through seven, still 2-2. Two -two. Pitcher spot will lead it off in the eight for the Pirates. We'll see what happens there. Paul Popovich, pitcher hitting second here for the Cubbies in the eighth inning. And Ellis, that's patient, 45, and that's going to be a walk. So Popovich, a leadoff walk here. Hands is pitching well, and they are not going to pinch hit for him. He will sacrifice, however. He is a C. And again, Roll of 16 to 89, and 83 just gets that one down, and that's going to go to the third baseman. So 5-3 on the put out there, and his second sacrifice hit of the day. Popovich moves to second base, so the Cubbies have the go-ahead runner in scoring position here, top of the eighth, top of the order. John Kessinger. Struck out his last time up, or struck his struck out once. Sorry, flight out his last time up. And eight, tough. He's going to strike out now, though. Second K of the game, and Kessinger slams the bat into the dirt in disgust. Walks back to the dugout, 
Glenn Becker says, I'll pick you up. Ellis says, let's see if you do. Six is tough, 30. And that is going to be a single for Becker. So two outs, and that runner will be moving on contact. So he is going to score there. And Becker, the RBI single, comes through big time, and that will probably single the end of Ellis as he's set to lead off the bottom of the inning. Cubby's now with a 3-2 lead. Beckert will steal on a three or less. No. Sweet swinging Billy Williams up, and that's going to be a defensive check. And error on first base, potentially. Oliver is a three. So 1 to 45 is an error. He takes care of that himself, no problem. So three unassisted, but the Cubbies break out on top here in the eighth inning. A run scoring single by Becker and heading to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is 3-2 Cubs. And pitcher spot is due up for the Pirates, and Ellis is going to be done. So Ellis, he pitched well. Let's close the books on him. He went eight innings. And gave up four, five, six, only seven hits, three runs. All three runs were earned. Struck out five, walked one, gave up a home run. So he is finished. And in terms of pinch hitters, looking down the uh, Pirates bench, it is full of lefties. And Jose Pagan is going to be the pinch hitter. Try and get his team back into this. And coming out to pitch the ninth will be Bruce Dalcanton. So we are set. Bottom of the eighth inning. Pagan looking to get a rally started here. And let me just enter some information here. And Pagan is a six runner and a three B stealer. All right, we are set to go. Hands has a ball, he has a sign. Pagan waggles a bat, here comes a pitch. And 11, tough, and that's gonna be a ground ball down to shortstop, and Kessinger takes care of that. So Pagan is retired. And top of the order now for the Buckos, Matty Lou steps in. Lou today is 0 for 2, he has walked and grounded out to short and second. Hands, his fatigue will get him into the ninth inning and he has only given up two runs, so he'll be good to pitch the ninth. And rare play. So nobody on, and again, the rare play chart of my own personal making. And that is going to be 0-8, and here we go. You see it there? Batter argues strike call and is ejected. So Matty Lou is gone and he will have to be replaced in center field. And the Pirates, they do not have Many alternatives there on the bench, so it's going to be Ron Davis. He'll have to come in and complete a lose at bat. And Davis, in limited appearances in 1969 against right-handers, hit 161.
He is a little bit better than Alou defensively, but Alou is not in the lineup for his defense. Definitely has a better arm. So let's see if he can uh, pick up the count and pick up the Pirates here. One down, we're set to go again. And a pitch, and that's going to be a defensive check, fast action card. And that is going to be an error chance on the catcher. And Hundley is a four, so he is decent there. Roll of 32, however. And that is just going to be in the error range. So on the error check, that will be a... That doesn't, okay, on the, I'm sorry. On the error check, the catcher, that will be a dropped foul. So the at-bat continues. So he'll get the E2. But new life for Davis. And this is turning into the longest at-bat in the history of payoff pitch. An argued strike ejection. A dropped foul pop-up. We'll try it again. And seven is in play and finally resolved. Ground ball down to short. And Kessinger takes care of that. 6-3. Davis is retired. And that brings up Richie Hebner. Hands a pitch, and it's going to be in play. Hebner, and he's going to drive that one back up the middle. So a two-out single for Richie Hebner. And that is only the Pirates' fifth hit of the game off of hands. It's a close game, and Hebner's down there dancing around. We'll steal on a roll of three or less. Does not. Just misses it. Roberto Clemente says, leave this to me. Patient, 87, though. And that's going to be a ground ball to Kessinger again. And he's going to take it across the diamond of Banks. And the Pirates are done in the bottom of the eighth. They get a hit, but leave one. And we're heading to the last frame. It is still Cubbies three, Pirates two, and a dandy. And the Pirates, if it's any consolation, will have the meat of the order coming up in the ninth inning. And Ernie Banks set to lead it off here for the Cubbies in their last go around. And 10, Dal Canton, that's going to be in play. And Banks against the right hander. And that's going to be a ground ball right back to the pitcher. So Dal Canton takes care of Banks, one down. Randy Hundley up. Hundley today is one for three. He singled back in the second inning. Flew out to left field his last time up. Two is a defensive check, and that's going to be bad, whatever it is, based on the roll. That's a range check on the center fielder. And Davis is a D. A roll of nine is pretty much going to be bad for anybody, especially a D. So on that, he does not get to that. That is going to be a hit, and that will be a double. So Hundley, his second hit of the day, he's down at second base with one out. Al Spanky Spangler up, Spangler. He has struck out and popped up to short and lined out to short. Keeping Freddie Potek busy. Here comes a pitch from Dal Canton. And that's going to be tough, and 58. And that will be a ground ball down to shortstop. Runner at second holds. Patek over to first, and Spangler loves Patek tonight. He has gone to him three times and been retired each time. Don Young, today's player of the game and waiting for the Cubby, steps in, two outs, runner in scoring position, the pitch, tough, and not going to do it this time. Ground ball down to Patek again. Over to first base, and the Cubbies are done. They get a hit, but leave a runner stranded at second base. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. This is it, folks. Score, Cubbies three, Pirates two. And Pop Stargell leads it off. For some late game heroics here for the hometown fans. Hands has a sign. Up in the bullpen is Phil Regan for the Cubs, and that's going to be patient. And that'll be a ground ball down to Kessinger, one down. So that's a big out as Stargell has game tying power. Al Oliver, no slouch himself. 
Hands definitely wants to keep it out of the wheelhouse with him. And tough and 92. That'll be a fly out to right field. So one out away. Cubs dugout is on the top steps. Manny Sanguian waves his wand. Here comes the pitch. Seven in play. And that is going to be a fly out to center field. This one is over. One, two, three, go the Bucks in the ninth inning in hand. The complete game masterpiece, your final score. Cubbies three, Pirates two, the Cubs win, the Cubs win. So our final line and today's player of the game, uh, you can make a case for hands. He pitched well enough, only gave up five hits through nine innings on the complete game, two runs. But I think here you've got to go with Don Young. He scored two of the three Cubs runs and had a uh, game tying home run back in the fifth inning. So home run and triple two for four, two runs scored Ribby for Mr. Young. And we give him player of the game for the Cubbies today. So final line score, the Cubs. They get three runs on eight hits, two errors. And Pirates again, two runs on five hits, no errors. And your winning pitcher is going to be Bill Hands. Loser Doc Ellis, both pitched well. And Hands final line, again giving up five hits, two runs. And he has, let's see, walks one. Does not give up any home runs. And not very prolific day strikeout wise. He has three of them, but pitched effectively. He was very efficient with his pitches and rode that effort home to the complete game win. So the Cubbies, now they uh, go to 10 and four in this replay. So they lost this game and would fall to 11-3 and three in real life. So one game off the pace uh, thus far. So still having a very good season. Good start for the Cubs. And we'll be back with game two of this series. Uh, and again, uh, rest in peace, Rusty Staub, who had his last at-bat today in this one. Thanks for the memories, LaGrande Orange, and everyone else, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep rolling for the fences, and we'll see you. Have a good, good Friday.